or wreck your tie-in spacewalk to upgrade the space station, the station crew receives a new shipment of supplies, and looking forward to seeing Ingenuity take flight on Mars. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. On July 21st, NASA astronauts Bob Behnken and Chris Cassidy conducted a nearly five and a half hour spacewalk outside the International Space Station. They upgraded station systems and prepared the outpost for future equipment to deploy experiments into space. Behnken and Cassidy have joined Michael Lopez Alegria and Peggy Whitson as the only other U.S. astronauts to complete 10 spacewalks. On July 23rd, an uncrewed Russian Progress supply spacecraft launched to the station from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. Several hours later, it arrived with almost three tons of food, fuel, and supplies for the crew. Our Mars 2020 mission is targeted for launch July 30th from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida. The mission will carry the Mars 2020 Perseverance rover to the Red Planet and the Ingenuity Mars helicopter. This technology demonstration, which has completed its series of testing on Earth, will make history's first attempt at powered flight on another planet the very next time it spreads its wings. Really, our job isn't done until we see the same test flight being performed at Mars. So next time we fly, it'll be at Mars. But that's our ultimate goal. That's when we'll go, yes. <laughs> you can learn more about Ingenuity at go.nasa.gov slash Mars helicopter. This is emblematic of greatness that comes from these kind of exploration initiatives. Administrator Jim Bridenstine and other NASA leaders joined a July 20th virtual discussion with the Space Foundation. The event highlighted how NASA's Artemis program for the Moon and our Mars Perseverance rover mission are helping us prepare for human exploration of Mars. Technology development has already begun to enable a crewed Mars mission as early as the 2030s. Capabilities being worked on range from powerful propulsion systems to next-generation high-tech spacesuits to pressurized rovers astronauts can live and work in for weeks. Check out go.nasa.gov slash Mars Tech for more about these and other space technologies NASA is working on to make Mars science fiction a reality. NASA's Planetary Protection Office tries to ensure that missions to Mars and other places in the solar system that might have life do not carry too many spores, cells that could reactivate and transport earthly bacteria. This is especially important for a mission such as Mars 2020 that will collect samples for possible return to Earth. The latest episode of our Gravity Assist podcast at go.nasa.gov slash planetprotect has more about planetary protection, including what your hand sanitizer has in common with NASA's clean rooms. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on the web at nasa.gov slash twan.